Hello and welcome to the Galeblade News. Internet connected gadgets will have to come preset with a unique password or require the owner to set one before use as part of plans for UK cyber security law. Manufacturers could face being forced to recall non-compliant products and could also be fined. The government is now seeking feedback from consumer groups and industry experts to shape its final legislation. One expert said the new rules would need strong enforcement. The call for views is the latest step to introduce a cyber security bill, which was first outlined in May 2019. Other proposals include a requirement that manufacturers state the minimum amount of time they will continue to provide security updates for a product after purchase. Digital Infrastructure Minister Matt Warman said that until the law was passed, Households should ensure they had changed all internet link devices, default passwords to protect themselves from cyber criminals. Millions of so-called Internet of Things devices are already in use in the UK, ranging from smart speakers and thermostats to security cameras and televisions. But the government is concerned that the brands behind these products sometimes preload them with one of a few dozen common passwords, which are not subsequently reset by the owners. As a consequence, cyber attackers can easily break in and steal personal data, spy on users, and even remotely take control of the products. In some cases, this involves hijacking the devices to stage follow-up attacks as part of what is known as a botnet. In 2016, the Mirai botnet, made up of hundreds of thousands of hacked Internet of Things products, flooded targets with data, causing Reddit, Spotify, and Twitter, among other services, to go offline. The new rules propose financial penalties for businesses that fail to abide by the rules. Wars would also be able to order that their products be confiscated or destroyed. It is suggested that manufacturers would be banned from allowing users to reset their devices back to an easy to guess universal factory setting. Device makers would also have to tell the public how to contact them to report security vulnerability. If required, the authorities could order a temporary sales ban while an issue was being investigated and fixed or permanently pull items from stores if they deem it necessary. Some smart manufacturers are improving their product security, but by no means all, commented Ken Monroe of Pentest Partners, a Buckingham-based firm responsible for exposing many high-profile gadget flaws. We need regulation and strong enforcement. If consumers are confident that IoT products are secure, more people will be confident to buy them. A government spokesman said the law would apply UK-wide and could be enforced as early as 2021 or 2022, but this will depend on how soon it is given parliamentary scrutiny. So, what do you think of this um, this um, news? I think it is quite good, uh, because some people are just not aware that there are just instant passwords that are just put onto their uh, devices, and actually it puts now more onus on the um, creators, the manufacturers, to put something difficult enough to avoid your data from being compromised. Uh, the responsibility now kind of shifts from you, which is what the manufacturers would typically blame. It's your own fault. Uh, that password, you should have changed it. Now it's their problem to deal with. And this could help with um, some of the court battles some people are kind of facing at the moment with uh, some of the manufacturers. Uh, whatever you think, leave your comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe.